Tonight, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is under growing pressure to make post-war plans for the Gaza Strip. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is meeting with him to talk about who will govern the territory when the war ends. Meanwhile, it has been a deadly day in Gaza. CBS's MTS Tayyip joins us tonight from East Jerusalem. MTS, good evening. Good evening. Well, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's war cabinet is at risk of falling apart after he rejected a proposal from a top coalition partner for how the war in Gaza should end. The political uncertainty comes as Israel's offensive across the devastated territory intensifies. One final agonizing kiss goodbye for a small child wrapped in a bloodstained shroud for burial. Just one of 27 Palestinians killed across Gaza today in multiple Israeli strikes. Most were killed overnight in Nusaviyah in central Gaza. Yad Harara had to dig survivors from the rubble following the Israeli strike with his bare hands. Their message to us is clear, he says. Just look around you. In the southern city of Rafah, Israel's so-called limited operation there is only widening. The violence has triggered a mass exodus of civilians, including 84-year-old Huria Al-Ghul. It's a displacement which echoes her family's expulsion from the now Israeli city of Ashkelon to Gaza 76 years ago when Israel was founded. Known to Palestinians as the Nakba, or catastrophe, Al Ghul remembers it vividly. She was just eight years old at the time and has now lost her home once again. My house was destroyed and now we live in a tent on the dirt, she says. It's a miserable life. It's a misery that also left her great granddaughter permanently scarred. Judy was badly injured in an Israeli airstrike that killed 35 people. We cry for them every day, she says. In all, Huria and Judy have lost 17 members of their family over the past seven months. And in the days since Israel launched its counteroffensive in Rafah, over 800,000 Palestinians who were already displaced have now been forced to flee again, says the UN, Nancy, making the already dire humanitarian situation in Gaza that much worse. MTS, thank you.